Ladies and gentlemen, we got a problem. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure you're seeing the problem, but look carefully at the wagon. What do you see wrong? So let me tell you what's wrong. Most of the weight is being pushed back now. As you can see, it is tilted downwards. That means it's forcing more weight down on the smaller wheels, which means I'm going to have to put the old wheels back on and crazy glue it tonight because I don't want this frame to crack because of that. So if anyone understands physics or engineering, uh, you, the problem with this wagon is that, as you can see, it is actually leading down like this at a slant. Look carefully. You see how that middle is actually bending one way and the other one is bending this way? That's going to snap. Why? Because technically, this wagon was designed to have eight inch wheels that's supposed to rise perfectly like this off the ground. But since we don't have the right wheels to support this wagon, we are going to force to put the old wheels back on the wagon until we get proper eight inch wheels. Now, yes, I can send these back, but it's gonna take a week or so. But Amazon is not gonna give me my full money back after these have been used. And honestly, I could tell Amazon, like, listen, they're not the ones I'm looking for. I thought they were a little bit bigger. I used it in a way because I'm in a desperate situation. And right now, I don't like how this frame is bent in. I don't like how this is bent in the way it is I just don't like it because it never sat like this before so we do have a problem with the wagons new wheels as I said if you look at it the wagon is leaning back forcing a lot of weight to the back which means it's forcing a lot of strain on the back of the wheel but also could be forcing other joints around the wagon to break so we definitely gotta replace the wheel right away. We're gonna put proper eight inch wheels. These are eight inch wheels. These are eight inch. So we're gonna have to find eight inch wheels. So with that said everyone, it's been a rough day. I've been not been feeling so good. I've been making videos, don't get me wrong. But earlier today, I took my medication without eating and I'm not gonna do that again. I literally was like passed out right here. This guy that was parked, well, that guy that was parked here earlier was like, hey man, you all right? I was like, I just took my medication and I'm feeling a little drowsy. And he looked at my medication, he goes, oh shit, my grandmother takes this shit. This is some strong stuff. So yeah, not doing that again on an empty stomach. But with that said, everyone, I just got to make sure that this wagon doesn't break while we still are out here in New York City before we head west. So with that said, everyone, I just want to make an update and let you guys know I ran into a problem with these new wheels. These new wheels are not structurally made for this wagon. And not only that, the wagon is not balanced correctly. As I said, it's leaning backwards, like tilting like this, which all that weight and the back is going to do what to that it's going to force and break something so we are going to try to put the old wheels back on and tonight we are going to glue it tonight and then put them on in the morning so i'm going to let i'm going to go into the park i'm going to take everything out i'm going to take the wheels out of my duffel bag and i'm going to start super gluing them and let it cure overnight that means i have to sleep in the fucking park and which I don't want to really do, but that's the only safe place I can do it overnight because there's no really no water that goes into the park. But with that said, everyone, I need to I need to I need to go to Williamsburg to go to a community refrigerator before I do all of this. So I might take the train if the trains are running. 
yes, if the trains are running, because on the weekends, trains don't run very good at all. Literally, you've been in the subway for a half hour waiting for a train. So, and that's due to an uh, employee shortage. But we did run into a problem with the wagon. I don't like how it's leaning. And when I push it, it's more like the weight is pushing me back. And the weight, as you can see, look at that. You can see it's leaning back and leaning down more. So we need to elevate the wagon up. Yeah, we need to elevate the wagon up so, so the joints don't break on the wagon. But with that said, everyone, I'm, I'm gonna make this short, under 10 minutes. I'm not trying to do anything special. Because honestly, I, I, I haven't eaten yet and I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be planting to eat because most of everything around here is closed right now. And I already missed some of the deals on the app called Too Good To Go. So there might be a few shops left over, but I don't literally have money right now because we spent all the money on the freaking wagon wheels. So with that said, everyone, it's been a, it's been a quiet day, but it's been more of a, you know, don't take medication about food next time, Pandem. One of those days, that mistake I just did. So yeah, I need to like, I need to either do something about the medication, not take it or wait until I find something. Cause I haven't moved since this morning. I've been here all day. The reason why I just don't feel like any, I don't, I don't feel the energy right now and like I said I'm still feeling the effects of the medication and that was like six hours ago six eight hours ago ladies and gentlemen so I go to show you that yeah I'm making mistakes on myself I'm complaining because I'm making mistakes on myself so I'm complaining about myself I just wish I never did that earlier I really felt nauseous and really sick but I appreciate people are watching from the windows and from their car. I appreciate that concern. Cause that was literally like, I felt like, oh, I felt like I got food poisoning again, but it wasn't. It felt more like that plus like, I felt under the influence. Like last night, like I took my medication five minutes before I was gonna eat and I felt the effects. But lucky for me, I had food last night and it kind of, it calmed it down a little bit. But man, oh my fucking panda this morning. No, we're not doing that again. Hey, Dr. Mandy Day. I'm not gonna be live streaming very soon, Dr. Mandy, but if you're a doctor, hey, I have a couple of questions. I know the doctor at Mount Sinai was being really nice to me and all that, but I'm still feeling chest pains right here. Like literally, I touch that area, I guess, ooh, yeah, it hurts. Is that supposed to be a thing right now? Because this wasn't happening yesterday. But when I woke up this morning, I felt, I felt some pain right here near my heart. So that's what I'm asking you. Is that supposed to be a normal thing? Uh, am I supposed to be worried about that? Because I asked the doctor about that chest pain. He said not to worry, there's no symptoms of like, like a heart attack coming along, but a stroke may be a sign. So if that's medical correct, please let me know. Yes, this, that's what I was telling everyone when I got out to the hospital two days ago, that the doctor literally told me that the streets are no safe haven. These streets are, if New Yorkers think the streets are clean, they have no idea. They've never been to Boston. They've never been to Portland or Madison, Wisconsin. Or some parts of Washington State. Streets are much more cleaner than this. <laughs> Trust me, they look like gold. But here, yes, the doctor did say like the streets have so much bacteria that is, and I think that's why I'm getting sick. And this is why we need to exit out of New York. As soon as possible, as soon as, we get, as soon as I get Amtrak money, we are out of here. We're going back west. So don't worry, I'll be out of here in no time. 
you may have a lung infection. Yeah, that's why I went to go to Mount Sinai for lung treatment as an asthma recipient. That's why they sent me to Mount Sinai for, uh, for treatment. I was on a nebulizer machine called the 960,000, whatever that big ass machine was. It looks like this, but much fatter. Yeah, well, I was on that machine for two days. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mandy, for providing me with some some insights of what it could be. But I appreciate it. I'm glad that I made this video because I wouldn't have met you, Dr. Manley. So I appreciate it. But I need to I need to try to find something to eat for one. I gotta take this ulcer medication. Uh yeah, I gotta take another one. This is a night one. I gotta take that what is that called? Clara Clara uh, uh where, where is it? it's in it's in here. I don't want to take it because it looks like horse. It looks like a big ass horse pill. You need fresh air, good food, cooked on your on your oven. Yes, that's what the doctor also said. That's why we ate at the restaurant yesterday. We had six dollars left. That's all I had. So we used this app called Too Good to Go. It helps save the planet ecosystem. It helps save waste. But. They gave me a lot of food last night and I, I was really hungry. Oh my panda. I was literally, you, get, you should watch that video. You should see me. Panda eating like a really savage animal. Yeah, with no fork. I was eating everything with my hands. That's why I didn't care. I was literally that hungry. Oh, but it felt good to eat fresh food again. Really good fresh food. So yes, you are right, doctor, that fresh air and good food cooked on your own oven is probably the best choice right now but I only could do so much if you guys want us to help if you guys want to help there's a there's a patreon I got a patreon there's a cash app PayPal Remo links are down in the descriptions below but we need to worry about this wagon you can see the wagon is leaning back I just I just don't want the frame to break while we are in the process of getting new wheels but thank you again, Dr. Manley, for talking with me. Because not every day you see a doctor that is willing to help a homeless person in solidarity. Because <laughs> I only I found one doctor that really cared. Well, a doctor and a nurse. But but guess what I had to go? I had to go all the way to freaking Jamaica, Queens in order to get that service. Can't get it in Manhattan, obviously, because you don't have money. If you don't have money, you ain't, <laughs> they're not helping you. So, what that tell everyone? Yeah, the doctor said it's gonna take quite some time for my body to adjust, but he did say this. I guarantee, he said, once I leave New York City, within the first week or two, I'm going to notice a big change in my in my breathing, my activity, and my hunger because this city also gave me an ulcer, a bleeding ulcer. How did that happen? I don't know. I don't know how did I caught a bleeding ulcer. But I tell you this, coming to the city, that it did a, did did a number on me. But I'm not really complaining. I'm a human being. I should, I should really try to take care of better myself, which I am. I've been doing this for a whole year, so this is why I ask people: Why are you complaining about me being homeless for one year? And this, this a homeless man being homeless for 20 years. You're not telling that man to go get a job, but he's out here panhandling and lying and deceiving people. I'm talking about his, yeah, that homeless dude. Fucking talking about his mother. His mother passed away. You use the same story like you did the last time, friend. This is why, folks, you are... Some folks are just twisted-minded and backwards. Like, you would never dare to say that to a homeless, a real homeless man's face. The only reason why you're saying this on social media, on my platform, is because I made a video being very transparent about everything we do. And you guys are taking that and using that as a weapon. That's not cool. That is not cool at all to use my sorrow my predicament as a weapon to bully me verbally that's not cool at all so with that said i'm doing the best that i can you're living like a soldier in combat yes that's exactly what this is mandy 
It's combat. This is war. There is a war on homelessness in this country. Every day I have to fight to protect my rights against other civilians and officers that, uh, that serve and protect. But that's not the case here in some situations. So that's why I'm standing here recording everybody and everything I do. And everyone keeps looking at me and saying, what's the story with this guy? What do you mean? Why? Because I'm clean and I'm well presented and I'm supposed to look homeless. With that said, everyone, my GoFundMe project right now is on hold. For some weird reason, GoFundMe just put my fundraiser on hold for a second time. Why did they do that? I have no idea. But if you guys want to support, like I said, there's a Patreon. You can also go to my website, thepenandphotographer.com. Well, you can buy a print, glass print, if you can afford it. But if you cannot afford a glass print, you have options. I have Amazon links to some of the gear that I use. But I also have a PayPal Cash App Venmo if you choose to support. But right now, let's get some water because we definitely need some water because we have no water. And you guys want to see my bank account? I have 10 cents in my freaking Cash App account. <laughs> I got no water cool water <laughs> and by the way the doctor said fresh water he said grade a stilt water or grade a what is that grade a what is that grade a what is that grade a the the stilt water and or purified water he said no faucet water because that could that could have some impurities inside the water that can cause a delay in your getting healthy again this is New York City. Not all pipes are clean. That's the point of what his message was. I would say push the heavy cart in a polluted. I would say pushing that heavy cart in a polluted, a polluted in a bigger city in the world. Yeah, this is. Yeah, it's it's better than carrying all this stuff because most of these homeless people gotta carry their stuff with them. And it's frustrating. It's really hard for them. I'm fortunate to have the resources and the money at the time to buy myself a wagon. And I'm fortunate to have you guys to help me sometimes on the way when I'm stuck. And right now, I'm kind of stuck in this situation with these wheels. Because it's I'm hearing some cracking going on here. And that's why I'm concerned. But I also noticed that the, the wagon's leaning like this. As you can see, the frame is leaning like this. But with that said, everyone, I, I'm doing my best. That's all I can do. That is the reason for your heart pain. Oh, yes. you. Uh, I'm aware. I'm aware, Mandy. This is why I'm trying to educate my audience that literally, guys, I can't make the live streams anymore. I can't literally do the city tours anymore with the wagon. I can't. My health is at jeopardy, and I need to get better. If I can't get better, then I have to stop everything that I'm doing. That means like I literally have to get out of New York City without making videos to emphasize my awareness because I'm gonna have to stop because the doctor even said it himself and I explained this in the video that the doctor said I have to take it easy with the YouTube videos and the touring around the city. Why are you doing our tours for what? <laughs> Like, do you get that many followers? Do you get It's not about following. It's about showcasing. He goes, but you're sacrificing. That's the problem. You all. It seems like you've been sacrificing. And I said, that's all I have done is listen to people, listen to my parents, listen to other adults. And now I do one time, one time. I don't want to listen to anyone. Everyone wants to give me grief. <laughs> I thought I thought my life was my own personal decision. I've always been listening to people. Now I don't want to listen to people. People want to give me grief. It's so, it's so terrifying that like every time I try to make a live stream, I'm hoping someone doesn't give me grief about making my own decisions for once. Guys, my whole life has been controlled. My whole life has been controlled. And the one time I stepped up to defend it you guys get an attitude because I'm homeless and I'm taking suit about what I want to do with my life. I want to start over. Is that okay? I hope so. 
But with that said, everyone, yes, I need to get some water from the park. And then I need to take the wheels out. Oh, my panda. I got to take all this stuff out again. And I got to put the old wheels back on. I'm so tired of doing that. This is a lot of work. And I literally don't have energy right now to do it. But I'm going to have to do it. And the dark. <laughs> Like, I can do it right here, but it's it's just... Panda, I would never, never eat out. You need to find a microwave at a 7-Eleven and cook your fresh vegetables. No, that's another thing. Seven, let me explain about 7-Eleven microwaves. They are contaminated. That's one thing. I, 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 that's one thing I do know. Never use a 7-Eleven at a, at a 7... Let me use a microwave at a 7-Eleven when no one cleans it after the person that use it. So I, I never eat from 7-Elevens here in the States. I always eat from the Quickie Mark or 7-Eleven in Japan, which is called the Quickie Mark. I never ate from a 7-Eleven in the States ever and never will because 7-Elevens in the States are really nasty. <laughs> you ever went inside a 7-Eleven, like a, a dodgy 7-Eleven, and you see someone use a microwave and you see all this gunk inside the microwave but no one ever cleans it because no one ever cares well that's called food contamination when you cross foods that were others yeah that's food contamination so panda all right ladies and gentlemen thank you mandy for talking with me i appreciate it but i need to find food and i need to get some water right now so with that said everyone thank you and hopefully you guys have a good night. The time is now set. Wow, it's so early. Yeah, I need, I need to. I, I, I'm not eating from the trash cans again either. So that's, that's going to be the, no, I'm not doing that. No, no. That's another thing that I could have got sick too. When I'm desperate and when I get hungry, people throw away good food. I go right after it in the trash. And that could be a dangerous thing too. So we're not doing that anymore. So, with that said, everyone, thank you for listening and taking the time. But I just want you to also see this view of Manhattan. Oh, my panda. So beautiful, but so corrupt. So corrupt. So beautiful. Not a very ideal place to live. And I hopefully you guys saw cash jordan's video about new york city because he's a very important he's a very important uh real estate agent here in new york city he's even considering moving out of new york city that's how bad it is if a real estate agent is talking about moving out of new york city that is super bad <laughs> that is so bad He's a YouTuber. He has he has family. So keep that in mind. He's a very important YouTuber. He's like the Casey Nastat, but you know, Casey Nastat is not here anymore. So with that said everyone, thank you for listening. But I, I need to get some water, I need to get some food. If I don't get some food, uh, I'll let you guys know uh, to the community board. I will post. If not, I will talk to you sometime tomorrow. If I don't talk to you tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, because like I said, I can't be doing these videos a lot on any, a lot. So on the weekdays, you're gonna see a lot less videos on the weekends, quite a few uploads. But right now, it's all about my health. With that said, you guys take care of yourselves.